Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the courtroom of Judge Sean Perkins. As he is presiding over a sovereign citizen in a pre-trial hearing over several traffic violations. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and hear all the nonsense that this soft tart tends to spew out. So roll that beautiful bean footage. Can you unmute yourself, please, sir? Is he connected to audio? It appears so. Lemon Bay, Harrison Lemon Bay. Can you, you hear me, me, sir? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Good morning to you. How are you? Okay. Are you the second or the third? Uh, I'm here on behalf of the third. The third. Okay. Uh, Oh, so you're the beneficiary of that corporate straw man. Okay, translation. Yeah, I'm him. I just don't want to admit that I'm him. And, and I guess it's the second of right. This is the city of Detroit versus Harrison Lemon Bay III. Straight that. This is the state of Michigan versus Harrison Lemon Bay III. Case number SX41. Four one nine five nine six eight counts one and counts three. Appearance for the record, please. Elwood S. Berry Jr. on behalf of the defendant. State your full name, sir. Mr. Berry, I think he's representing himself. Of course. It wouldn't be a sovereign citizen unless they were representing themselves in a court of law without any actual knowledge of the law and without any knowledge of courtroom procedures to begin with, which is why going pro se with these idiots is a never a good idea. Because as the old saying goes, a man who represents himself in court as a fool for a client. Your Honor, I yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. And, and add, add, add count three to that. Add count uh three to that record as well, uh, or count two to that, or one to that record as well. So count one, two, and three. Let me have that other. Uh, I believe, uh, state your name for the record, Mr. Uh, Lemon the uh, third. Yes, I am that I am Harrison Lamont Bay, all lowercase letters. Uh, and I'm here on uh, behalf of Harrison Lamont uh, the third. All right. Well, I've, I've never heard of the all lowercase letters. What does that mean? It means that my the name is to be spelled with all lowercase letters, not not all capital letters, not not part capital and lowercase, strictly all lowercase. Letters. Okay, Judge, allow me to translate this for you, considering that, well, this guy's a sovereign citizen, a real softard, if you may. Uh, basically, what he's saying, Judge, is that. His name is all lowercase, which means he has fallen for the sovereign citizen BS about uh, all caps names representing a corporation, which is not true to begin with. So therefore, he prefers his name in all lowercase, which denotes that he is not part of a corporation whatsoever, that he has cut ties with the uh, corporate United States, which is, again, BS. And him claiming to be a representative just means that, yeah, that's me. I just don't want to admit it's me. Just so he can avoid uh, any legal fi or financial issues. But once again, it's a bunch of sovereign citizen garbage that he got from some guru. Simply because this dude has no capacity for independent thought or even critical thinking skills whatsoever. Uh, so uh, today is the date and time set for... A pre-trial in the matter. Um, how do you want to proceed, sir? I know you filed some documents with the court, um, and I did have those up in my chambers. Um, but how do you want to proceed? Uh, Your Honor, uh, I'm 
I'm the surety on behalf of the principal debtor, straw man Harrison Lamont III. I've given the court notice uh, weeks in advance. Principal debtor, straw man. Well, uh, dude, uh, this has nothing to do with debt. This has something to do with traffic court, which has which you have multiple traffic violations, which, like I said, has nothing to do with your debt. In addition, Soft Heart, I suggest you stop reading all this sovereign citizen garbage, especially the stuff about uh, straw man names and everything like that, because you know what? Your name is not exactly fake when you're born. It's something your parents give you when you are conceived. That way they can identify you from other people. It has nothing to do with the corporation, you dumbass. Uh, I'm here to tender a special deposit to the court and make the clerk fiduciary, uh, you know, the prosecutor, uh, you know, as well. And I'm looking uh, for a plea of release today. Will you grant a plea to release? Uh, no. I can grant you a, a pretrial. I can grant you the opportunity to speak with the city attorney, or I can grant you a trial date. By judge or by jury? Yeah. So what would you what would you like to do, Mr. Uh, Lemon Bay? Well do you mind if I ask a couple of questions? Just want to make sure that I'm comprehending it. You may. All right. So as you gave the, the name, I heard you mention a few different names. I heard you mention Harrison Lamon. Bay the third, and then a Harrison Lamont the second, and and various different names. I I, I just want to make sure that I'm I'm clear on uh, who or what it is that we're we're here to discuss because I don't want to speak uh, on behalf okay. of of. Uh, right. the, <clears throat> it does have an error. It does have an error. It appears to be an error on the. Uh, on the uh, computer here, so enter entry they one one of the counts was entered into as um, well. One count was entered into as Harris Lemon the third. The other count was in Harris Lemon the second, and the other count was entered Harris third Lemon. So um, I think that's just a typo. There's uh the the uh, the nature of the offenses as uh the misdemeanor case uh is uh driving around a uh, valid operator's license, uh, no ops on person, and that is a 93 day, punishable by the maximum possible penalty, 93 days in jail and or $500 in fines. And you have two civil infractions, one expired plates and the other one speeding a 20, a, a 16 to 20 miles an hour over the uh, speed limit. Um, so those are the, the nature of the charges. I'm gonna offer you an opportunity to mitigate this by taking the better driver's course, sir. I'm gonna put that in the chat if you choose to. Um, if, if, uh, and, you, and I can give you time to do that. Um, if not, you, you can set it for a trial date or whatever you're, you set it for a trial date or speak with the city attorney today. What would you like to do? Uh, I. I'm, I'm really, again, I'm, I'm, I'm ultimately I'm here to tender special deposit and, and settle the charges, you know, make the clerk fiduciary. Translation, this soft heart actually thinks that, once again, that this is a corporation and that all he has to do is pay damages in the form of money to get away with it. And that is not exactly how any of this works. Please, dude, I hope you don't choose trial because I don't think you'd win. Uh, you, settle it, you settle it by pleading to um, one, uh, in taking a plea today, paying the fines, or taking it to trial, see if you can do better at trial. You have a right to a judge, trial by judge or jury, and that's it. You're those, are, you're, you're, those are your only options, sir. I'm, I'm looking for a plea of release. There's no, there's no, so there's, are you, are you mentioned, are you stating that there's no offer of equity in, in this matter, your honor? I'm, 
the judge and the soft heart are definitely on two different planets at this point. Uh, the judge is on Earth, and I have no idea where this soft heart comes from, but because you know what, uh, he's just talking more corporate gar soft heart garbage. I mean, equity? Come on now, this is a pre trial hearing for a traffic violation or traffic violations in this case yeah dude uh, i think you've fallen so far down the rabbit hole you can't see the light anymore i don't know what you're talking about all right we're gonna Sir, move on you... so I don't, I don't i don't have time for this would you I like to speak of... to an attorney would you like to speak to an attorney sir i i i, I don't uh i'm, don't? I'm not asking for counsel <laughs> Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna just we're gonna pass the matter and we're gonna move on and uh, he can just watch and see how the, how it works in here because uh, I just got too many I have too many people that are waiting that want to uh, want to be heard and hear their claim and um I I don't I don't understand what you're saying I've given you your options and you can sit back and ponder those I'll give you time to ponder those options. Um, other than that, sir, uh, I, I don't know what else to tell you. All right, let's move on. Next time. No, I've already answered the questions I'm going to uh, answer. No, please mute your please mute your device, and um, you deal. You either take the uh, offers that I've given you, speak with the attorney, or take the deal, or set the matter for a trial date. Those are your options. Let me set the matter for trial. Set the matter for trial. Okay. I'm going to give you a trial. I'm going to give you the gun. Do you want the uh, trial by judge or jury, sir? Your Your Honor, uh, by jury. Okay. Jury trial. Can I get a jury trial date, please? As soon as one you have. We set one on the 29th, is that right? No, yeah, let's set the earliest one you have. Uh, June 5th, what do we have? June the 2nd. June the 2nd? Let me see. Yeah. No. All right, June the 2nd. Or we have 15th, we have them, right? And the next one will be July the 13th. We have 15, 15, 15. Let's do June the 2nd. June the 2nd, and we should do it this in the afternoon as well. Um, well, we have to set a pre-trial first. Yeah, we'll set a pre-trial. We'll set a, so your next court date is going to be a final pre-trial, sir? Um, final pre-trial will be uh, June the 1st, 6-1-2023 at... 8.30. If you, and then we'll set the, the jury trial date for the next day. We'll set it at 2.30. All right, we'll have, we'll have you at 9.30 on, um, at 9.30 on uh, uh, June the 2nd. So your next, action the date that you need to appear is june the first at 8 30 and then um uh, the next day we'll have the jury trial at um uh june the 2nd 2023 i have received um your motions uh, if you have any more motions make sure they're in before the june the first date and then we'll proceed with uh picking a jury uh and setting the jury panel at 9 30 uh, on June the second. If you don't have any further questions, uh, Mr. Lemon Bay, then have a very good day, sir. All right. Good luck to you. That's good luck to you. Okay, the soft charge trial date is on June the second. I hope it's uh, put up on YouTube immediately afterwards because I would love to see how poorly this guy defends himself in the court. 
because it is quite clear that he believes that this is a corporate setting and not a uh, traffic court. Uh, so therefore, he's completely unprepared for any of that. So, well, stupid is as stupid does. And if he wants to be stupid by representing himself in this matter, so be it. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.